What's up, guys? This is MA Fish Guy uh, doing a viewer request today. Uh, I'm kind of catching up on a bunch of them, so just bear with me. I'll be putting a bunch of videos out for about the next week. Uh, the question is, you know, my fish tank stinks. Uh, what could cause that? Uh, there's a couple different factors that go into this. Uh, if you have a new tank set up, uh, you either have a bacterial bloom or an ammonia spike. The ammonia spike is usually the most uh, common uh, problem and causes the tank to actually stink and have a, a nasty smell to it. Uh, what causes your ammonia to spike is a new tank cycled with too many fish in it, uh, too many fish in the tank, uh, too much feeding, not enough water changes. Uh, so if your tank is kind of cloudy and does have an odor to it, it's usually either the ammonia or a bacteria bloom. Uh, either way, the bacteria bloom is probably from feeding too much is usually the most common. Uh, ways to treat this, do a water change. I usually recommend like a 75% water change. Uh, do that, replace the water. Uh, it should clear, it usually clears up. Um, what's going to happen next is after about two to three days, you want to replace the filters. Uh, this is going to kind of help catch everything. Uh, if you are still having a problem with it um, after the water change, go get it tested or test it yourself. If you go to PetSmart Petco uh, and get it tested, they'll be able to tell you if the ammonia is high and nitrate. Nitrite is high. Uh, any of those three that are high except for the nitrate uh, can be deadly and even the nitrate at a high enough level can be deadly. Um, but yeah, to fix the ammonia in the tank, you use an ammonia clear. Um, any kind of like Amquil works real, real well in that. Uh, that gets rid of your ammonia, nitrate, nitrite. Uh, it usually works the best. For a bacteria bloom, uh, what you can do is actually get a tank clear. Uh, or any kind of uh, aquarium clear, aquarium clean, and what that's going to do is it's going to help uh, take all those particles and group them together into bigger particles uh, so the filter can actually catch them and take them out. Uh, that's why you want to replace the filter after about two or three days after doing that. That way the stuff doesn't flow back into the tank. Also, cut back on your feedings. You should only really be feeding fish once a day. Uh, I know they look hungry and you should, you know, they'll eat two, three, four, five, six times a day depending on the fish. Uh, I had cichlids that would pretty much eat all day long if they were allowed to. Uh, do more water changes. Be more active in changing the water. A lot of people think you can just set up a tank and it takes care of itself. It doesn't. It's not like that at all. If you don't want a smelly tank, you got to do the water changes and feed less. Uh, also, your tank might be overdone uh, or overcrowded. If you have 10 goldfish in a 10-gallon tank, it's probably what your problem is. Uh, is you're definitely overcrowded. For a 10-gallon tank, I really even want to put more than one or two and you're definitely going to have to upgrade after that. If you have a tropical aquarium, remember the general rule is, and it's an old wives rule, is one inch of fish per gallon of water and that's full grown size, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense uh, because you wouldn't put a 10 inch Oscar in a 10 gallon tank and you can put 10 one inch tetras in a 10 gallon tank. So with that, if it looks overcrowded, the fish are bumping into each other, um, just use your general rule of thumb. Even common sense works real well for this. If they look crowded, then it probably is crowded. Um, you know, take your size. You wouldn't want, you know, 13 people in your kitchen. Um, fish don't want 13 people in their aquarium. They want room to swim around and room to, you know, go on their daily business. Um, if you do want to put more fish or you don't want to get more fish, then do more water changes. Doing more water changes is going to help remove the uh, hormone that actually shrinks the size of the fish or actually doesn't really shrink them. Keeps them at a certain size so they don't keep growing. If you do more water changes, it's going to make the tank feel bigger to them. That's why a lot of your chains like Petco, PetSmart, um, you know, Walmart even that sells their fish unfortunately. Um, they have a 10-gallon tank, and you wonder, you know, how can you put 40 fish in a 10-gallon tank? Well, that's because behind the scenes, behind the wall, um, you've got, like, a quarter of a million dollar filtration system with, you know, beneficial bacteria sumps. Um, you've got multiple layers of uh, carbon that everything's going through. You've got UV sterilizers hooked up to those. Uh, some of your bigger filtration systems um, for some of your stores are going to be pumping water through, you know, 16 to 18 UV lights in a spiral 
uh, so it's killing all bacteria, uh, good and bad, and it allows you to keep the fish, you know, 30 to 40 at a time. Plus, they're not keeping those in there all the time. If they get 40 fish in, within one week they're down to 10 more, and then they're restocking again. So those 40 fish aren't living in there all the time, so that doesn't mean it's okay for you to do it. Um, like I said, with the bacteria bloom, get an aquarium water clear. That's going to group everything, get rid of it. The ammonia, do water changes, feed less, um, and undercrowd the tank, uh, get rid of them, bring them to your pet store, they're, they're usually willing to take them, uh, they'll either give you your money back, store credit, or just give them up, it's uh, a lot easier to give up a fish before it dies, um, and any of you like your pet co uh, has I think a 30 day return policy, pet smart is usually 14 I believe, uh, and all your other ones depend on you know where you go, so you can usually just bring them back and no questions asked. Um, so yeah, if you have a smelly tank, just keep up on the water changes. Um, do massive water changes. Um, if you have any questions, post it below in the comments. Visit my website, mafishguide.blogspot.com for my store with special deals on all these chemicals that you're going to need to uh, get rid of the uh, smelly water or cloudy water. Um, subscribe to my channel up above. Um, give me some reviews and requests down below and I'll shoot them out for you. Thanks.